Hello students, these are the IFRAC guidelines. You will find these in Moodle. I've got all three of the things that you need available. I have the IFRAC instructions. I have the uh, KK Logan court case against the Gary Community School Corporation and the IFRAC template, which is in Word and you can download that from Moodle. So with the IFRAC, you basically have five components. The issue, the facts, the rules, the application, and the conclusion. Every court case has all of these five elements, as you will see in the KK Logan case. But the five elements do not always appear in chronological order, all right, or numerical order, or sequential order. Sometimes you may have to hunt around the court case or the docket to find the components in the IFRAC. Quickly, the issue in the IFRAC are the questions presented to the court. Usually one issue will be discussed, but sometimes there will be more. So when you read the KK Logan case, you want to find out what is the question that the court is asking. What are the parties fighting about? What are they asking the court to decide? Those are the issues. The facts. The facts of the court are what were the key components, the key facts that we find in the court case between the plaintiff and the defendant. For example, a business's street address is probably not relevant to the court decision of the issue. Yes, it's a fact, but it's not relevant. Suppose a customer who was assaulted as she left its store is suing the business. The customer claims that her injuries were the reasonably foreseeable result of the business's failure to provide security patrols. This is important and the address might be important, especially if the assailant tried to escape. The rules. Determine what the relevant rules of law are that the court uses to make its decision. You'll see several relevant rules throughout the KK Logan case and you'll start seeing these after the general allegations and the claims. Application. This may be the most important portion of the brief. The court will have examined the facts in light of the rule and probably considered all sides and arguments presented to it. How courts apply the rule to the facts and, and analyze the case must be understood in order to properly predict outcomes in future cases involving the same issue. So the KK Logan case is a transgender student case in a public school system, any case taking place after this can look to the KK Logan case as a precedent. All right. There may be other cases before the KK Logan case, whereas the KK Logan case can look at those older cases and look at them as precedent. And then the conclusion, what was the final outcome of the case? Generally, you find that towards the very end of the docket. All right. So issues go here. Facts rule the analysis or application and the conclusion. Just a reminder in the issues portion these should appear to be questions. You should at least have two or three questions, if not more, that were questions presented to the court. If you've got any questions, you can send me a message and I can further explain the IFRAC.